Hello everybody, uh, this is Milo from I Am Hacks. I'm just trying to, I just want to give you a quick tutorial on a software that I found that is a pretty good alternative to Cam Camtasia. Um, it's called Video Motion Pro. Now what the software does is, uh, I'll say from the get-go, it doesn't have all of the bells and whistles of Camtasia, but having said that, it does have a lot of stuff Camtasia doesn't. This um, the software is especially good if you're making YouTube videos or things like that. It has a lot of inbuilt functionality that integrates really well with YouTube. For instance, um, they have the option for lower thirds here. That's something that a lot of people use on YouTube, as, um, as I'm sure most people know. They also have the, uh, the option for making green screen videos. So you can you can add an add a video um, with a green screen background, and basically you can overlay another video. Um, you can overlay that onto another video, and you can do some pretty cool things with that. I'll give you a quick tutorial on how to do all these things in this video, but uh, yeah, just want to quickly show you. Okay, so yeah, I think I just might as well get started straight away. So first of all, you create a new project, and uh, Let's call it test, great project. And what I want to do is, I just want to add some media. Um, and basically how you do that is you go, just go somewhere where you've saved your media. So I've saved mine in videos and I'm just going to save all of the, upload all of these. And these are just uh, video clips that I had on my computer. So now what I want to do is, I want to, I'll show you how to do the green screen first because that's pretty cool. And just just for if, if you're wondering, this has the screen capture uh, functionality which is what most people use uh, Camtasia for. I actually have Camtasia as well as you can see. I'm using Camtasia to record this at the moment because you can't do both at the same time. But this is a very good alternative to Camtasia because it does all of that and it's much cheaper. So anyway, um, this green screen video is something that I got from YouTube from uh, Green Screen Studios. So I'll just give them a quick plug there. They put this video up. Now I'm going to delete the intro on here just because, um, just to make this, this video, just to make my video look a bit better. So I'm, yeah, I'll just cut that out. And um, yeah, so that's the green screen there. And so now basically what you want to do is you get a green screen offer colors reset that's wrong apply color and yes so now basically you can play this green screen video as you can see and it cuts out the green in the background completely which is what we want to do and yes, I'll, I'll just add a lower third now. Um, this is a nice one here. Uh, video Motion Pro. So I'll just add that lower third. And what that does is it just plays the lower third on the top corner of your screen. Um, so. I'll just give you a quick demo. How good does that look? Um, so now basically you're gonna wanna overlay the green screen onto something else. So I'll just upload another one of my, my videos that I have in here. Um, yeah, I'll upload this one. Actually, I'll, I'll create an intro video. So here, here you have a whole list of intro videos that you can create. And basically what the software does is it allows you to just quickly add some text in here and it will, um, it will create a video for you basically with your text inside of it. Uh, I thought this might be a cool one to do. Um, actually, not that one. Rocket launch. Goes well with the green screen video. So, yeah. Video Motion Pro Tutorial. 
And as you can see, it does a live update while you're doing it. Yep, and um, tutorial. Let's add the intro. And it can take a little while to create the animation, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. Now, while that's going, um, I'll add again that this is this is definitely something that will help you if you're making YouTube videos. If you want to use, say, for instance, add lower thirds or anything like that, and it it, it is it comes at a significant dis discount to Camtasia, which is which was the major uh, drawing point for me. I have Camtasia already, as you can see. Like I said, I'm using it to record this, but I do create a lot of YouTube videos, and this for me integrates really well with YouTube, whereas Camtasia is more just uh, video editing and recording software. Um, this does a lot of the stuff Camtasia does, and and it actually has a lot, a few more functions depending on what your what your goal is. So anyway, as you can see. There's my video there, it's, it's in the background. It will lag a bit while it's um, while you're creating it, but that's uh, that's neither here nor there. It's not it's not a big deal. When you render it, it it, uh, it fixes all of that up. Now, as you can see, um, that video it has a bit of a that. The background doesn't really flow too well. The green screen recording doesn't really flow too well. So what you can do, which I think is really cool, is you can select a portion of the the green screen that you want to show the most, or any any video for that for that matter, and you select the portion by dragging dragging these two arrows. So the portion that you want to show the most is in the middle, and then you click fade. And what that does is it gives you a fade in and a fade out option. And you can do that with all your videos. You can do it with this one here as well, um, which is the intro video. And yeah, basically what that does is it makes it a bit more, it makes it a bit more light. It just gives it a cool, cool fade in effect, as you can see. I'll stop that and now I'll just quickly show you the outro videos um, this is a really cool thing if you're doing YouTube so basically what you can do is you can add add your video other videos that you have on YouTube on here and it'll play it in that in that outro video so basically I'll just select this media I'm just gonna select it for all of them select media yeah. Anyway, I won't bother with the rest. And here you can give a little description. So, test one, test two, etc. And yeah, basically what that does is subscribe. Now, um, I'll actually add this to the actual video that I'm uploading to YouTube, so you can see it in action. But basically, what that does is you can add the outro. And yeah, basically, when you do upload it to YouTube, you can link all those um, all those windows to your previous videos that um, they correspond to, and that works perfectly with YouTube. It, it's a great way for um, encouraging subscriber retention, for encouraging people to subscribe to your channel. And it, there's a few, there's quite a few outros there. As I'm sure you, I think you might have seen when I was doing the recording, and it's it's just perfect for uploading things onto YouTube and yeah so basically that's that's the tutorial I'll just let it finish um, finish creating the animation I'll just pause this while it's done so then once you've um, once you got the video to a point where you like it you can just go to render video and uh, give it a name I like to render it to the highest quality and uh, basically, yeah. So you, you say where you want to save it. I'm saving it. Well, I'm saving it in the videos folder, and then just naming it test one. And yeah, 
I'll just save it. Okay, as you can see, it took a minute to um, to record, uh, to render, which is pretty quick. And um, I'll just go okay, and I'll just give you a quick, quick view of what it looks like. As you can see, there's no lag here. And that's it. In YouTube, you'll be able to click all of these, and that will be that will be active for, to get subscribers. There'll be some videos here, and yeah, it's really up to you. Yeah, use your imagination, guys. This is that's it, and that's the video. Hope you liked it.